Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're going to be continuing the uh, Conjurer questline and probably unlocking our first uh, job for this uh, class. We'll be moving from Conjurer to White Mage. So uh, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Ah, Elric, your presence here is most welcome. I have another task to which your maturing skills are well suited. Attend me closely. Expansive wounds that ooze corruption have formed throughout the forest. After examining the traces of the sizable disturbance you previously cleansed, I can only conclude that this phenomenon is the work of a malign agent. It must be found swiftly, as the corruption spread, and I would have you assist in the investigate. Guildmaster, you must let me help! Sylvie? Since I got back from the South Shroud, I've spent all my time studying the forces of nature. I even sat through one of Hero Nolanel's lectures. The Twelve's Wood is crying out in pain. My skills are still a bit... lacking in some areas, but I want to do what I can for the forest. Lacking? Sylphie, you have yet to master a single offensive spell. Without the means to defend yourself, it would be far too dangerous to send you off into the forest alone. So I am to stay here then? Not necessarily. Elric, with your consent, I would have Sylvie accompany you once more. I do not propose this arrangement solely with her safety in mind. Given the nature of the investigation, it is like that Sylvie's innate talent for hearing will prove as useful to you as your country will to her. There is much you might accomplish together. Sylvie, you are not to approach any sources of corruption without Elric at your side. Do I make myself clear? And should you chance to encounter the origin of these disturbances, do not initiate a confrontation. Too often you allow your curiosity to overwhelm your good sense. Now go, and may the elementals watch over you. I, Yes, Guildmaster. Something tells me we should start at Quarry Mill in the South Shroud. Meet me there as soon as you can, Elric. And hurry, the corruption is spreading. Right, so that was Quarry Mill in South Shroud. There it is. Right, just wait for the teleport to uh, do its thing. Right, how far? Are we not too far. Mount up, and we should be there in no time at all. Hmm. <laughs> Right, and this should be the area right here. There we go. Looks like somebody else is about to do it at the same time. <laughs> Painted Earth Sprite. Let's uh, get that killed. <laughs> Hopefully we've got the right one. I don't know if it matters too much. <laughs> we have as uh, ours is red. There he goes, uh, investigate the... Right, here we go. Speak to Sylvie, I guess. That was brilliant, Elric, but it was only the start. The forest still groans in pain. I can hear it. I think it's coming from the north. No, the northeast. Let's go and have a look. Right, uh, mount up, and I think, again, this should be pretty quick. So we'll uh, just keep this in. All uh, fairly close together, these locations for a quest for a change. <laughs> right, and there is the next destination. Yep, there's Sylphie. Let's uh, get this guy killed. Although it is purple, which means that that was the other guy's quest uh, mob. So this might interfere with uh, ours. We might have to start it. Start this particular section from scratch. <laughs> right, uh, yep, I thought so. <laughs> right, get rid of this tainted earth sprite. And why is Sylvie just standing there watching? She could at least try to help out. I know she was uh, told that she... Oh, wait, yeah. She was told that she didn't know any uh, offensive spells. <laughs> mm, 
Right. You're doing really well, Elric, but I think there's another one. And well, it calls to me even more fervently than the last. It's to the east, I think. Yes, to the east. Alright, hopefully this one's as close as the first two. Let's uh, mount up. Yeah, it's still reasonably close. Is she hiding this time? There she is on the left. Right there, Elric. The description is everywhere. Okie doke. Uh, let's get this one finished off. Nice work. The earth here feels healed. And yet... There's another disturbance, and it's big. Really big. It's hard to describe, but it feels sort of wronger, I think. I think it might be what's causing all of this. I know Brother Isumi said we weren't to confront it, but we can't just let corrupt the rest of the forest. And however powerful it is, it can't be any more powerful than you. You're... well, you're amazing. But what I mean to say is, I want to risk a scolding if you are. It's not far from here. Somewhere to the southeast, I think. Shall we at least have a closer look? Right, and that one looks just from the mini-map also pretty uh, close by as well, thankfully. And I'm guessing that might be the mob that we have to uh, take on next, but we'll have to summon our own copy of it. Oh wait, no it's not, of course not, it's around the corner, I just looked at my mini-map. Let's get a sprint going on. Right, say the word, selfie. I don't think you need to be able to hear the voices of the forest to notice that, do you, Elric? Hmm? Corruption is definitely coming from somewhere around here. Hmm, that's odd. As soon as we arrived, that sense of wrongness I had suddenly felt less... Well, it just felt... less. It's almost as if it's holding its breath, or hiding. Do you see that? Just in that one spot there. The air seems... wrong. Ah! Let's uh, get this guy dealt with. This creature is a void scent. I've heard Brother Isumi speak of them. Be careful, Eric. You'll be paralyzed if you meet its gaze. Okay, uh, let's get out of that pretty quick. It doesn't seem like this thing's going to cause uh, any major challenge for us. <laughs> it's drawing power from the corruption. We have to cleanse the disturbance first. Uh, the disturbance? I guess you mean the uh, Tainted Earth Sprite? The corruption attracts the worst kind of monsters. Oh boy, I'm losing a lot of health here. <laughs> See if we can get rid of these guys. Yeah, they're fairly weak, thankfully. The power of nature is so incredible. I feel like I can do anything. Wait, were you just healing me there, Sylvie? I really appreciate that, because I was uh, getting quite low. <laughs> Alright, that's him dealt with. Now let's try and get rid of this tainted earth sprite, as I suspect this is what she meant by oh. the corruption that we need to get rid of to uh, finish this off. And that uh, threw me a bit, that little uh, grunt that I just gave out. <laughs> Alright, hopefully there's no more uh, smaller mobs to come now. 
Oh, this thing's taking a lot of uh, damage. <laughs> right, and he's almost dead, so uh, hopefully this will be the end of this uh, encounter. There he goes, he was hanging on for dear life at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing, Elric? Did the breeze always feel this good? Was the ground always this warm? I'm so glad I finally understand. I just wish I could tell my mother how incredible nature feels. Oh, you're injured. Yeah. Don't worry, healing doesn't drain me anymore. Not since I learned how to borrow from nature. And I have you to thank for that, Elric. Let's return to the guild. We have to explain everything to Brother Isumi. Right, so we're back to Brother Isumi and uh, New Gridania. Right, and here we are with Bravery Sumiyan, with someone kindly standing right on top of him. <laughs> Welcome back, Elric. Sylphie. Our mission was a success, Guildmaster. Right, I take the two of you conspired to defy my orders. But, well, the forest was suffering. We couldn't just walk away. It's not Elric's fault. It's mine. It was all my idea. I take full responsibility. Calm yourself, child. You did nothing I did not foresee. I am of no mind to lecture you. Indeed, Gridania is indebted to you for your heroic deeds. The corruption born of Aquaman had taken root in the calamity weakened soil. There is no telling how much further it might have spread if you had not defeated the creature. And if I am not mistaken, Sylphie, you succeeded in drawing upon the energies of nature during the battle. How did you? Yes. Yes, I did. I'm not really sure how it happened. I remember thinking how badly I wanted to help Elric, and then I suddenly felt the power surging through me. That is as it should be. One does not simply choose to borrow from nature's strength. The mind may command only that which the heart permits. In your desperation to help your friend, you opened your heart to nature, and nature responded to your need. Ah, but we must not forget your part in this, Elric. It is clear to me that your journey with Sylphie has brought you still closer to the pinnacle of our art. I believe you are ready for the last of my teachings, thus it is with great pleasure that I pass on another of our guild's magics. A more potent form of the cure spell is now yours to command. I have no doubt that it will serve you well in your continuing endeavours. Wheresoever you go, nature will go with you, my friend. Ever shall the earth meet your footfall, and the wind guide your path. Right, uh, new weapon. Let's see, uh... Not massively better. These brand new items are pretty damn good. I've uh, had very little need to replace any of them. Uh, yeah, I'll just go with the cash reward again, I guess. <laughs> right, so uh, we'll just have a word with uh, Isumi here. Elric. I am glad you have come. I have a task of the most urgent and confidential nature, and I can think of none of her to whom I can entrust it. You are doubtless familiar with the Seertiers, yes? Kani Senna, Elder Seertier, leader of the Order of the Twinada and guardian of our fair nation, clearly needs no introduction, but know you also of her siblings. The two young Pajals, Sister Rhea O Senna and Brother Arun Senna, make for Evershkade as we speak where they will perform a ritual of great import. 
Verily, such import that would be no overstatement to say that the very fate of Gridania hangs in the balance. As you well know, we dwell in this forest by the good graces of the Elementals, eternal guardians of the Twelveswood, and most of all, the Great One who dwells within the Guardian Tree. Yet our ceaseless warring and ill treatment of the trees that shelter us have aroused the Great One's ire, and it is only by the quieting, the ritual of which I spoke, that he may be placated. Thus did the two seared seers set out for Evershkade, with nary a guard to accompany them. Therein lies the rub, and the nature of the favour I ask of you. By no means would I question the powers of the seared seers, but with the Great One's anger mounting, the Twelveswood becomes a threatening domain for even the most puissant of conjurers. Pray hasten to Evershkade, and see that no harm befalls the two. Okay, so where is Evershkade? Uh, Central Shroud. Right, and here we are at uh, Evershkade. Let's just uh, see what's going on here. Curses. How can we hope to make it to the Guardian Tree with these ghastly creatures bursting forth like rampant weeds? If I'd known what we were in for, I'd have brought along a wood whaler or two. In fact, I dare say we should return and do exactly that. Oh, do not be such a coward, sister. We are seed seers. These overgrown vermin are no match for us. Old words, brother. But were they true words, we would have dispatched our enemies and arrived safely at our destination bells ago. Hmm. A conjurer, are you? Brother Isumi, ever the warrior. For once, however, his solicitude is most welcome. Might you help us dispose of these fell creatures? Have you no pride, sister? A seed seer does not beg the aid of some common adventurer. Enough, brother. We have a duty to perform. A duty that takes precedence over your silly notions of pride. Now enough talk. Let us see to these pests. Mm, okay. Get a few arrows spread out. The Great One does not approve of our presence here. I'll thank you to stay out of my way, adventurer. Bring down as many of the creatures as you can. Okay, that's what we've been doing. Right, looks like he's uh, nearly dead. Let's finish off this water sprite and let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> At Crystal, do my eyes deceive me, or does this adventurer inherit the legacy of Atoa Kant? was none other than Atowa himself who last performed the quieting. No, I do not believe this adventurer's arrival is mere coincidence. Bearer of the Soul Crystal, inheritor of arcane knowledge long since forbidden to those not of our kind. I know not why it is you he chose, but I believe our great forefather has led you to us today. Ancient tradition dictates that the quieting be performed by three Pajals. Ah, but I must speak. The ritual is to be performed by three white mages. If Master Atowa truly has chosen this adventurer as his successor. Y you speak madness, sister. Surely you have not forgotten that Pajali tradition strictly forbids sharing the teachings with those not of our kind. The power of white magic is far too great to risk it falling into the wrong hands. <laughs> and so you would uphold tradition merely for tradition's sake, even at the risk of incurring the Great One's wrath and bringing disaster upon our forest home? Have you so little faith in your own ability, sister? We are seed seers, more than capable of slaying any beasts in our way and carrying out the ritual on our own. <sighs> this petty bickering is getting us nowhere. 
adventurer. I am sorry to trouble you with our silly sibling squabbles. If you have the time, I would speak with you further, but not here. Come to Camp Tranquil and come quickly. Time is of the essence. Right, so let's have a look where that uh, Camp Tranquil is. Uh, right, so we'll just teleport there. And we'll meet you guys at the destination. Right, and here we are at the location for the next step of the quest. Thank you for coming, adventurer. Forgive my brother's rudeness. He cannot help that he was born with a head of solid stone. Anyways, I do not believe we have been properly introduced. I am Rhea Osena, a Pajal, as you can see, and sister of the Elder Seedseer. You are Elric, yes? Brother Isumi has spoken of you, and most highly at that. As you no doubt have heard, my brother, Arun, and I were en route to the Guardian Tree. There, the Great One, by whose graces we dwell here, resides. The gentlest of Guardians, when at peace, a destructive force that knows no bounds when angered. As the Great One goes, so goes our fate. The creatures you helped us dispatch. Doubtless they, too, were roused to hostility by the Great One in his anger. You need only look around you to see. The forest grows more and more threatening with each passing hour. So it is that we travelled here to quell the Great One's fury, to perform the quieting. In days of old, the ritual was, without fail, performed by three white mages. With our elder sister occupied with her many duties, my brother and I fought to attempt on our own. Arun was quite confident, but I had my doubts. It was then that you arrived, and shortly thereafter became one of the chosen few to be gifted with a white mage's soul crystal. Tis no small honour, that gem marks you as an inheritor of the magic of our ancestors. My brother's pride may blind him, but the signs are clear as dear to me. You are not Pajali. But Atowa can't, meant for you to be here today, to perform the ritual with us. Atowa can't is known to all as one of the greatest mages in our history, but even more so, he was known for being something of an eccentric. In defiance of tradition, he bid farewell to his forest home, wandering the realm and healing the wounds of the land and its people wheresoever he went. A most admirable cause, yes? But alas, Atowa was never to return. He perished in a far off land and having taken no apprentices, his legendary powers were lost to us for eternity, or so I believed, until I met you. And yet for all his stubbornness, there is some truth to my brother's words. Ancient laws forbid us from sharing the teachings of white magic outside of our own kind. There are reasons for this, which I would share with you when the time is right. There are many who would not approve of this arrangement. Still, I am convinced that it is at Toa's will that we bring you into the fold. And so I welcome you, Elric of the White. I can feel the Great One's fury welling up even now. Time is short, and yet while you have been chosen by Atowa, I fear your journey as a white mage has just begun. Return to me when you have further honed your skills, and we should proceed with your training. Uh, next white mage quest will be available at uh, level 35. Okie dokie. So we get Presence of Mind and the Soul of the White Mage. Brilliant. White Mage Unlocked. Right, uh, number of gear sets increased, okay. Uh, soul crystals are required to change your current job class, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, while using the job, you'll have access to actions from other classes. Uh, right, a few new spells, job level and attribute bonuses coincide with those of the base class. When the job level rises, so too does the level of base class and vice versa. Yeah, the base class basically becomes the job class. Uh, recommended gear. Okay, that's unusual. It's not let me use it. Right, uh, so we open our inventory and go to this tab down at the bottom there and equip our soul stone. That turns us from Conjure to White Mage. Did gear set. Uh, hmm. None of that gear is uh, any good for us, surprisingly. Oh well, never mind. Uh, just going to double check that. We've got so much stuff that we haven't bothered to get rid of here. Well, that stuff's uh, pretty much out of date. Right. Well, I think we'll uh, call it an episode there. And we'll see you guys next time.